All right, so now that our project's all set up, the first thing that we're gonna always wanna do is go ahead and type in extends Java plugin. Now, there's not much you guys, spelling counts. Extends Java plugin, there's not much you guys need to know about this for now. Just go ahead and type it in and accept that you need to do that. Uh, then you wanna, in Eclipse, you, when you roll over, it'll tell you uh, it's not there, so we have to import it from the library that we set up from the Java build path. Just go ahead and do that, and it adds an import up here. Now, the first method that we're going to create is called on enable. Now, a, there's classes and there's methods. A class is the whole thing. All of your code will go in a class. Methods are what are contained within the class. So then there could be a whole bunch of different methods inside a single class. And keep in mind that your plugin isn't limited to one class. You can have multiple classes, which we will be going over a little bit later when we get into more advanced topics. Uh, so the first thing we want to do is let's go ahead and make her on enable, on enable class. So public void on enable. It has empty parameters because it doesn't take anything. This is the parameters there, in case you didn't know. Uh, so, as soon as the plugin's enabled, hey, wh what do we want to do? I mean, we could leave this blank technically, but don't you think it'd be nice to tell the console that, hey, hello world's enabled? We should probably tell the console that. So, in order to reference the console, we need to make a logger variable. So, logger log equals logger dot get logger. Oh, ignore that. Bam. Now, it may seem a little bit repetitive there, but uh, this is declaring, this is basically getting the console of Minecraft. So, now we're going to go ahead and print a message to the console. So, we want to send the console some information, so log.info. And what do we want to tell it? Well, we should probably tell it that Hello World's enabled. So, we can do Hello world is now enab enabled exclamation mark and semicolon now we could do that but we could take it one step further we'll go ahead and take it one step further so we're gonna say hello world version and because uh, we're, we're putting something in between two strings we have to use the plus uh, so this, this class dot get description dot get version is now enabled. Okay, so you probably don't understand that. Let's always make sure we save. So what's that saying? Let's go ahead and space it out. Hello world version this dot get description dot get version. Get description is referencing the plugin YML. All plugins need that plugin YML when you're using Bucket. And from getting, we're going to get the version from the plugin YML. This might make a little bit more sense later when we create the plugin YML. So it's going to say hello world version, and it's going to get the version is now enabled. So hello world, world version 0.1 is now enabled. So that's good for the on enable. Let's go ahead and create an on disable. So we're going to go ahead and do public void on disable. And no parameters again. And you guessed it. This is this method is called when the plugin it gets disabled. So again, why don't we be nice and go ahead and tell the console, hey, console, uh, this plugin is now uh, disabled. So we're, we're, we're going to go ahead and do that. So we're going to get a, get the logger. like that just like before and we're basically gonna do the exact same thing as before only say it's now disabled so log dot info because we're sending them information hello world spelling 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 version this dot get And my spelling is really off today, guys. I'm really sorry for that. Dot 
just like that. So, hello world version, we're getting the version number again, is now disabled. So, that's really simple enough, and you're like, okay, that's cool. So, we, we tell the console that our, when our plugin is enabled, we tell the console it's enabled. When it's disabled, we tell the console it's disabled. Wonderful. Now what? Well, that's what the next video is going to be about. So I'll save that for later. But let me go ahead and go over this again. So we're extending Java plugin because we need to reference the bucket library that we downloaded. We need to extend Java plugin no matter what. We created the method on enable, public void on enable, to tell, to tell the console that the plugin is now enabled. It's void because it's not returning anything. So that's why we, we called it void. Uh, we're, we're declaring a, a logger variable to basically access the console, and then we're sending the cons console some information that our plugins now enabled. Next, we created a public void on disable, so an on disable method, and we told the console, "Hey, we're now disabled." Okay, that's so. So that's what we did. Now. The last thing we're going to go ahead and do in this video is create the plugin YML. So in order to do that, we're going to go to the Hello World um, folder and then go to the source. Make sure you're on the source, the SRC folder. Right click, new, file. We're going to call this plugin.yml. Go ahead and hit finish. And it will open up in your default editor or it may open up in Eclipse. Either way, it doesn't really matter. All we're going to be doing is adding name, main, version. Guys, by the way, the source code for this will be in the description and it'll be updated each video and the, the whole thing will be included if you want to download it. So for the name, we're going to go ahead and call this hello world. The main, this is basically what it's asking, where is your main class located? So where is your on enable method located? It's located in the package com dot mca craft dot hello world dot hello world in version 0.1. That's what we're going to call it. We're going to make sure we save it. And guys, just just to reiterate this, uh, this is our package and this is our class over here. So make sure you save it and go back into Eclipse. And you want to make sure that you right click and hit refresh. You can also hit F5 and that'll um, refresh everything. In the next tutorial, we'll get into the really fun stuff where we start to create the commands that'll tell the player stuff. Uh, that'll be the next tutorial. Until then, guys, I'm Kenny and I'll see you guys next time.